everything Coinbase Pro. That's what we're gonna be talking today. Whether you're a beginner and never opened the platform before, or you're an intermediate or advanced user, there's something in this video for you. We're gonna be talking through how to fund the account, how to navigate the platform, how to read candlestick charts. We're also gonna be talking about those order types, market limit stop, and I'll tell you, the stop order is what I use all the time, and it is completely misunderstood, especially on some pretty popular YouTube videos on here. We're also gonna be placing some live trades of each type of those market orders. So stick around and let's get into it. Welcome to the channel, I'm Brian Logan. I am so thankful you are here. All right, before we jump into everything Coinbase Pro, just wanna call out, you probably see this uh, scar on my neck here. I'm actually battling thyroid cancer right now, um, and I won't go into it, and that's not the purpose of this video, but um, if you're interested or know somebody who's going through thyroid cancer, there's a link below to uh, my journey that we're gonna be sharing my wife and I on her channel. All right, with that, let's jump right into Coinbase Pro. So I'm really glad you're here, and if you are, give yourself a pat on the back because you should be learning about Coinbase Pro. I made a previous video that I'll link somewhere above or right down below that tells you all about why you should be on Coinbase Pro and not Coinbase. You're saving like 80% on trades on Coinbase Pro, so you should definitely be using this. Coinbase Pro has a desktop program as well as an app, and I'm actually gonna make a video for both of those. Today, we're gonna be focusing on the desktop desktop version. I think it's really important to start there because while the app has most of the functionalities on the desktop, it's a little bit easier to see and absorb on the desktop before jumping into the app. And I just have to give a quick disclaimer that I'm not a financial expert. These are my own opinions. I'm not affiliated or associated with Coinbase or Coinbase Pro. So with that, let's get right over it and hop over to the computer and we'll go through Coinbase Pro. So this is the main screen of Coinbase Pro. Now let's talk all about orders. So if we come over here to the left-hand side of the screen, the, the top portion shows us kind of our wallet. So we've got how much current US dollar we have, which remember we just deposited 300, and then how much of the current coin we're looking at we have. So this is Bitcoin, so I've got about 0 0.037 Bitcoin. I can also go ahead and deposit and withdraw right here so I could add more money to the account, or add more Bitcoin um, if it was in Coinbase or whatnot. And then this is the order form right down below. So you have the first option is to buy or sell. We're gonna focus mostly on buying. Selling is the exact same thing, just opposite. Under buy, we then have to make the decision about what order we wanna do. There's a market order, a limit order, and a stop. So I'm gonna jump over to some graphics so we can talk a lot more about these before placing our trades. So here's our buy orders. Market, limit, and stop. We're gonna start at market. So this is the most straightforward type of order. And this is actually the type of order if you're in Coinbase, not Coinbase Pro, Coinbase, and you try to trade Bitcoin, this is what you're trading. You're trading a market order. You say just how much you wanna spend and it's gonna buy Bitcoin at whatever the price is currently. So this is the easiest one to understand. So we're gonna come over here. We're, we're in Bitcoin. We're gonna to go to buy, market, and we're gonna put how much money do we wanna spend in Bitcoin. So I really don't wanna place a market order, um, but for you guys, I'm gonna show you exactly what happens. So I'm not gonna spend too much money on this market order. We're just gonna go ahead and do 10 bucks. So we can see our fee, which is a 0.5% fee, which is so much lower than Coinbase, and then how much Bitcoin we're gonna buy. So we, what you're gonna see as soon as we place this buy order, it's market, it's gonna immediately fill at whatever the current price is. So are we ready? Let's do it. Boom, there we go. We placed our order, it showed up in the open order, and the status was filled. We did our size, which is the $10 minus the fee, how much Bitcoin we did, and the price that we got filled at. So that's exactly how what would happen again on Coinbase if you were trying to trade there. But Coinbase Pro gives us the opportunity to use these different market orders. A limit order is buying at your price as the price of the coin goes a little bit lower. You wanna get a little bit better price than what the current market price is. So you're gonna set an order a little bit lower than the current price and wait for the coin to pull in a little bit so you can kind of get the coin on sale essentially. So let's talk a little bit more about a limit order. So this first example I like to call is the small price saver. So the way to think about this is I wanna own Bitcoin right now. Like I'm ready to trade, I wanna own it. But I want to see if I can just save a few dollars during just the natural price fluctuation of today. So the example here is the, the order spread that we were just talking about before. So again, the, down here are the buy orders and above is the sell orders. And I've got it broken down by the $10. So the current price here is $58,440. So I want to put a limit order in below the current price to try to get a better price. So I may put in that order at $58,420. I'm not trying to be super strategic about what my entry is into the stock 
stock, it's really about, hey, can I just get a little bit better price than what it currently is? And I think the coin will likely move in probably the next few minutes into this price. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that limited order in for 58,420. Now, unfortunately, this isn't guaranteed. It, Bitcoin may continue to rise and may never hit your limit order. So this is where there's a little bit of a risk with these types of orders. So the second type of limit order that I like to think about is more of a strategic entry limit order. So this is, your, you're willing to wait and strategically enter Bitcoin, maybe a day, two, three days later from what it is currently today. You're trying to take advantage of the trend, but you're also trying to get a little bit better price than what the current market price is showing you. So here's an example. Let's look at this chart. So this is the, the movement of Bitcoin over the last several days. And let's say that this, uh, this big green bar is what's happened today. We see a big move like this, but we don't want to get in and pay this big price. We don't want to pay up here. We're okay to wait a few days or so because we, there was a big up move before and it kind of pulled back in. So maybe there's an opportunity to get a better price just like before. So because of that, and because of that thinking, we may look to place a buy limit order below the current price. So the, so the current price is up here around $5,700, $5,800. And we may look to place a buy limit order below the market, maybe somewhere around the $56,000 mark. Kind of a similar pattern to what happened before. Now the risk here is that Bitcoin actually doesn't dip and just continues up and we kind of miss that opportunity. So that's where you need to be careful with limit orders as you might not get filled with your limit order because you're placing it below the market. Huge thing here, if you place a limit order above the current price, you will get filled immediately. So don't think you're gonna put a limit order in for $60,000 and it's just gonna to wait to hit the 60,000. If you put a limit order in for 60,000, it says I'm willing to buy Bitcoin for $60,000 or less. And because the, the price is less than $60,000, it's gonna be filled immediately. I've made that mistake before several times. So just keep in mind limit orders, you put below the current price of the stock. Okay, so in that last example, a few days had passed since I made that slide. So you can see we may have actually gotten filled at our limit order down here before. So for our limit order, I'm gonna follow kind of a similar strategy. Say, hey, maybe it'll come back here down here again before extending higher. So what we wanna do is look kind of at this low price. So I kind of like that 5,600, like the example we, we used on the other page. So we're gonna come over here to our limit order and we're gonna say, hey, so let's place an order at $56,000 and then choose how much Bitcoin you wanna have based off of how much you're willing to put in for the trade. So I wanna do about a hundred bucks, which is about 0 0.0016 Bitcoin. So again, this is saying, I don't wanna pay more than $56,000 for 0 0.0016 worth of Bitcoin, which is about a hundred dollars. So we're gonna go ahead and place buy order. Now, what you can see is down here, we've got an open order at $56,000 for 0 0.0016, which is about $100 worth of Bitcoin. So if you can imagine, there's kind of a horizontal line over here at about $56,000 that I have an order. I'm not willing to pay any more than that. So that order will not fill until the price of Bitcoin goes down to $56,000. So that's limits. A stop price is similar, so you get to set what price you want to buy the coin at. However, you set it above where the current price is. So this is taking advantage of, hey, I want to be following a trend. I see Bitcoin's rising. I want to jump on that bandwagon, but I really want to do it strategically. So let me show you that now. All right, a stop order. So most people think about a stop order as a stop loss order. So that's probably what you've heard a lot, which means, you know, you've You've already bought the coin and you want to have an order there just in case the market starts to fall and you get out and you don't want to you don't want to you want to stop your losses buy stop orders simply mean that you want to set the price above the current price to get into the coin so i've actually got a different example here out of ethereum so if we look at the chart so you can see there was some resistance building here around the two thousand dollar mark and all that means is that the price kind of came up, hit around this 2000, pulled back, kind of hit around that 2000 again and pulled back. So now as a as an investor, as a trader, we're thinking, hey, maybe it's gonna break through this 2000 mark here in the future. And if it does, it might get a lot of momentum because it's you know tried so hard to break through this 2000. Now that it might, it might grow higher. Let's pretend, obviously this chart, we kind of know the future, but let's pretend we don't know the future. Let's say today is this, this red day, We've kind of marked it in yellow here. We don't know what's gonna happen in the future, but we're willing to be strategic and we want to ride the trend. We wanna follow the trend up. We don't wanna be 
the risk with a limit order too is you're technically buying as the stock is dropping, which in my my mind is not, not a great thing to do. Everybody has their own strategy, um, which is great, but I like to be buying with the trend. So I use buy stops all the time. So what we're gonna say here is let's say this is today and let's say we wanna buy when the price goes over 2000. So we're thinking, hey, it's hit once, hit twice, maybe it'll hit a third time and break through. That's what we're hoping for. On this day, we're gonna go ahead and put a buy stop order in for $2,000. So what's gonna happen is that order will not trigger until Bitcoin hits $2,000. And at that point, we'll then get into the trade. If Bitcoin doesn't make it to 2,000 and just keeps dropping, no harm, no foul. We never got in, we're not losing money, which is why I like buy, buy stops. But hey, in this scenario, the price actually continued to rise and actually crossed the 2,000, which means we would have gotten in. Our buy stop order would have been triggered and we would have been entered into Bitcoin. Now, a buy stop, is setting an order higher than the market in an effort to strategically follow a trend. So now let's go over to stop. So let's go back over to chart and I'm actually gonna zoom in a little bit, a little bit more. So this is actually a good trade that I'm gonna place for buy stop and actually keep this order live. So you can see that the trend of Bitcoin is trending up. I wanna take advantage of that and I don't wanna be buying Bitcoin as it goes down. I want to be buying it as it going as it goes up and trends up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at these different candles and I'm going to choose a, a price where it might break out of kind of where it's been trending over these past three or four days. So hey, you can see this one candle, the high of this day. Again, if I put my cursor over it, I can look up above here to see that the high of that day was $58,550. If I'm gonna place a buy stop order at $58,551, so I won't buy Bitcoin until it crosses over that amount, which would mean that it's continuing to trend higher. So we're gonna come over to the buy stop area. So the stop price is where we want our order to be put on the market. So that's gonna be that 58,000 550, we're gonna do one because we want it to be a little bit higher than what the current market price is. And we're gonna do the 58,551 just because we want it a little bit above so that it's a breakout trade. Now we're gonna come down to amount. So the amount of Bitcoin, again, we're gonna do about $100, so 0 0.001. We're gonna do seven here to see if we can get a little bit closer to that 100 versus the 90. Now, typically that would, all, that would be all you would need for a true stop, a buy stop order. Now in Coinbase Pro, they only allow you to do a buy stop limit order. So this is actually combining a stop order and a limit order. All that's happening is your stop price is when you say, hey, take my order and put it on the order books. So traditionally, a stop order would be also a market order. So as soon as the price of Bitcoin hit $58,551, your order would hit the books as a market order and get filled immediately. Coinbase Pro doesn't actually allow you to do that. It allows you to do a stop limit order. So what this means is that $58,551, our order will be put on the market and then we get to choose how much we wanna pay. So typically you can put the limit price exactly at the stop price, which would just mean that once the order is put on the, the order book, that's how you're not willing to pay any more than that. And usually the market will fill your order. However, if the market is moving fast, it might not fill that order right away because it might have already moved past your limit. This is the reason why I usually put the limit price a little bit above that stop price, because remember, the limit order says the max I'm willing to pay. So if I put it a little bit above my stop order, as soon as that order is put in, hopefully it will fill, but I'm gonna give it a little bit of wiggle room. So I'm gonna go at the $58,560. So what this says is the order will be sent to the market as soon as the price hits $58,551. But I'm not willing to pay more than $58,560. So once the order's on the book, hopefully it will fill right away. But if the market is moving fast, this gives it a little bit of wiggle room in order for me to still get into the trade. So the limit price on a stop order has to be at your stop price or a little bit above. So here we go. I actually really like this trade and I'm gonna actually leave this one on the market. So we're gonna go ahead and hit place buy order. So now you can see our stop order down here and it's active, which means it actually isn't on the book yet. Like this one is an open order because it's already on the book. It's down here somewhere in the buy section. There you go. Those are the main trades in Coinbase Pro. So the last thing you can see is you can obviously see your open orders here, but you can also do this orders tab at the top and see what is out there. So, and see when we placed it and, and all the information related to, to those orders, as well as what orders were filled, 
the fees associated. This is the last 30 days. So I cover it, talk a lot about fees in my previous video. Briefly, I'll just say, um, if you're not trading more than $50,000 in 30 days, you really don't need to worry about this taker and maker rate because they're the same either way. Um, this really has to do with the types of orders that you're putting on the market. Most of you probably aren't trading more than $50,000 in a 30 day running period. Um, if you are, comment down below or DM me and I'm happy to explain more about taker and makers. All right, that's everything Coinbase Pro. You've learned how to fund your account, navigate the platform. We talked about the candlestick charts, um, as well as place those three different order types and why each one is important and why I typically use the buy stop order. So I hope this was helpful for both you beginners, intermediates, and advanced traders. If it was, please subscribe below as well as give a thumbs up to this video and comment down below what order type you currently use or you plan to use and why. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Brian Logan. Remember to stay healthy, love your family, and elevate your wealth.